Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to take a screenshot and how to print on the Samsung Galaxy A35. Now, taking a screenshot is super easy. You're simply gonna hold down on the power and the volume down button for one second. You'll see a flash on the screen, and that's how you'll know that the screenshot was taken. Let's give it a try right now. Power, volume down, one, two, three, hold, let it go. That's the flash you'll see. If you tap on the bubble at the bottom of the screen here, it will allow you to then make edits to the picture after it's taken. So for example, I can tap on this little pencil right here, and then it will allow me to drag from the corner to crop the picture. Maybe I wanna cut some things out of the picture. I can also um, tap on this little uh, square with the pen and then I can draw. Maybe you're trying to circle something or, you know, uh, uh, draw attention to a certain section. You can draw an arrow. Um, you have all these other things. You have stickers, you can add text. There's all these cool things you can do. And once you've added those, you can simply hit the save button in the bottom right, or excuse me, upper right corner to add it to your photo gallery. And if we hit the home button, and go to our gallery, you'll see we now have a folder that is called screenshots. And here is the picture we just took. That's where you'll find the picture after you've taken it right there. Now, let's say this picture was nice enough for you to wanna print it. Well, to print it, you're gonna go to the upper right corner and tap on these three dots and you'll simply go to print. Now, I have a wireless printer that is already set up where I am. And so all I have to do is tap on select printer. And there's a little arrow to the right, tap there. And I'm gonna see my printer model show up, my Canon TS6400. I'm gonna tap on that. And then I'm gonna tap this button here to print the picture. You can also tap on this drop down here if you want to make some additional changes, for example, maybe you want to print more than one copy, you can tap in this box here and you can change the number of copies that print. Maybe you want six or 16. You can change it from black and white to color, double-sided, uh, portrait to landscape, you know, all these other options are available. And when you're done, you tap on that yellow button and that will send that picture to the printer for it to print, okay? Now, that is how to print a picture. Next, let's go over how to print an email. So let's say I'm in my Gmail app here and I'm seeing, oh, look at this cool Google Fitbit quiz. I wanna print this email out. I'm gonna go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, come down to print, and you'll see the same things on the screen. You'll need to select the printer, three dots, just give me drop down. Select the printer. Now sometimes you'll see this come up blank and when that happens to you, I don't want you to panic because sometimes it takes a few seconds for the printer uh, software to load what it's trying to print. So it's trying to print the email right now, but if the email is long, it can take a few seconds for it to show up in this screen. So I don't want you to panic uh, it should never take more than a minute to load. So that just is a parameter you can use as a guide. Um, and when it's ready, you'll always see that little yellow circle. It'll show up right here. And when you see the yellow circle, that's when you tap it and then it'll send it to the printer. So um, in this case, it's taking a bit longer to print, but again, don't worry. As long as it's less than a minute, you're fine. If it takes you more than a minute, simply hit the back button, back out and try it again, okay? Now, lastly, let's talk about how to print a web page because a web page is slightly different and it, it's not gonna show up the same way. So I just wanna make sure, uh, I think these are the three main ways that someone will try to print. So I wanna go over all three. Okay, let's say we're trying to print this page of ESPN because it has all these highlights or headlines. Upper right corner, tap on the three dots. Okay, notice you do not see a print button. Okay, so what you'll do is you're gonna tap on the share button and share will bring up this menu and then you'll see print right here. So it's just one extra step 
to get to this screen. Select the printer, drop down, select the cannon, and it's saying it's unavailable. So if that ever happens, just simply back out, try again. It was previously loading the last thing we tried to print, so it could still be finishing up that task. Let's hit share again, print, preparing the preview. There we go. Select the printer, select my Canon, and this is ready to go. Now, one thing you'll notice here, this uh, website is 17 pages. So if I just let it print right now, it's gonna print 17 pages. Is that how many pages you wanted to print? If it's not, you'll need to go through here and uncheck any of the pages that you don't wanna print. So I can go through, I can say I really only wanted to print that first page and maybe page number 10. So just go through and make sure you unselect the ones that you don't wanna print. When you're ready, tap on that yellow button and that will send it to the printer. Now, in the description, I will leave some links to some recommended printers. If you may have an older or outdated printer that does not work wirelessly, um, check out some of the recommendations I have just for some great printers. I always try to include printers that are under $100, so just very um, uh, good price range, but that are also good quality. So check out those printers. And if you found value in this video, please make sure you bump that like button down below. That helps the video get shared out to more people and just helps with educating more people on how to use this phone. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care. Oh, and one more cool thing. I just picked up this really cool pager. Now some of you guys are probably saying, sir, why are you buying a pager in 2024? Well, this is no ordinary pager. This pager is actually a portable charger and this will actually charge your phone. So this is a 10,000 milliamp battery and I can you can use the cable in the box of your phone to charge the USB-C or a full size USB. So I've been using this thing quite a bit. Um, I use it to charge my phone and my iPad and it really, it's just very durable, it's rugged and it always gets a lot of good feedback when I take it out. So I'll have a link below in the description where you can get this cool pager and uh, drop me a link in the comment section if you end up getting one. I'd love to hear if you're on the Team Pager uh, family as well. All right. Thanks again for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.